Hi there guys how are you doing this is your friend and tutor Manus and guys today in this session we're going to be talking about isometric views so the problem that i've picked up is basically a third angle prediction and when you speak of third angle prediction top view is going to be above front view is going to be below and towards the right of front view we have the right hand side view now if you want to learn more about third angle prediction you can go and watch my lecture based on orthographic predictions and introduction the link of which i have provided in the description down below now let's start with this particular problem there is a certain object whose um, top view front view and the right hand side view has been provided to us so to begin we need the length breadth all right so when you observe this you can figure out this is the length and this is the breadth and this is the length this is going to work out as 56 let me show you why this is 18 plus 20 plus 18 and it should work out as 56 breadth obviously is 32 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a line over here okay 56 mm long line at an angle of 30 degree with the baseline done again the breadth is going to be over to this side now the breadth is 32 millimeters and again with the baseline it's going to make an angle of 30 degrees obviously yeah done what i'm going to do is keep a mini chapters over here okay Set it along this line, tighten the screw, bring it over to this point, draw a line, that's it. Repeat the same stuff for this line also. And here you can see that this rectangle, sort of rectangle over here in the top view, okay, appears as a parallelogram in the isometric view. In the next step, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a platform. And you can clearly see in the front view, you can see that this entire thing appears at a height of 8 millimeters. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be elevating this entire structure by an amount of 80 millimeters. And for that, I'm going to have to draw a line over here. Okay. Something like this. This is an eight millimeter long line and I'm going to be doing this over here, here, and that's it. Now, all the points above are going to be joined again with the help of these lines, something like this. Okay. Now, when you try to have a look at this in the isometric view, these lines or edges are not going to be visible. And hence I'm eliminating them right now. Now in the next step guys, I'm going to go ahead and draw these lines. Okay. This is 16 millimeters. This is 16. All right. Um, and this is 12 and this is also 12. So let's see. 16. Okay. And similarly, I'm going to go ahead. This is going to be 12. Make sure this line is parallel to this line. Okay. And the line 16 mm long line is parallel to this line or this line for that matter okay it's an isometric line basically again i'm going to come down 16 and 12 all right 16 and over here 12 done what's next so we have these two points over here and here now if you take the center okay from the center you need to move 10 mm towards the left and 10 mm towards the right so that you can have these two points and then these two points can be joined with them all right so let's try to locate the center so this is the center and towards its right i'm going to go 10 steps all right same stuff so from this point to this point this is 10 millimeters okay now please watch this carefully same stuff has to be repeated towards the left hand side also so basically what i'm trying to say is guys um this this is the center towards the right of center we have this point and towards the left of the center we have this point both the points are separated by distance overall distance of 20 millimeters okay so this is 20 millimeters now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be joining this point with this point and from this point to this point okay now in the next step what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be making this profile now please have a careful look at this this is 24 millimeters from this corner this corner i'm going to go 24 millimeters so that i can reach here all right no problem no issues and you can see this profile okay there is an edge over here this edge corresponds to this one over here all right in this side view it can be seen okay so the overall distance that we need to cover up in this direction is actually 14 millimeters it can only be determined from the side view or the right hand side view and from this point to this point the distance is going to be 10 millimeters so i'm going to go 24 14 10 8 10 14 that's how this profile is going to be made okay so i'm going to go 24 and this is going to be again this is how much this is 14 and this is going to be 10 
this is this over here this distance is 8 millimeters all right again this is going to be how much this is going to be 10 and this is going to be 14 so let me travel a distance of 10 done okay so this profile is done this is left okay this can be made very easily okay at a distance of this line this edge appears at a distance of 14 millimeters you can clearly see this there you go that's done now in the next step what i'm going to be doing is these are the four points that i've made right now these four points and these four points are to be elevated by an amount of 16 millimeters okay so let's go ahead and do that 16 millimeters Yeah, pretty good and uh, have to do the same stuff for these points also done okay now all the points above are to be joined again okay so I'm gonna do this you can do this with the help of a simple scale and pencil arrangement that's it okay now we've reached here here it appears as a point over here but in fact it's a line okay it's a line now you can see the slope so we're gonna make this slope right now something like this okay yeah that's pretty good pretty good and what is next okay so what i'm going to be doing is let me do this here this one this one this 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 done so this entire arrangement has to be copied okay the same stuff down below something like this so this is exactly how the object would look in the isometric view okay so when you have a look at it from the top all right from the top you're gonna see this top view when you have a look at it from the front from here you're gonna have this okay now um let me make it more realistic let me use a darker pencil for this okay and let me use a red colored one okay that's good okay fine so what i'm going to be doing is let me darken the portion which is going to be clearly visible let us go ahead and do that yeah pretty good done so this is exactly what you're gonna see in the isometric view so guys that was all from my side i'll see you again with some more problems on isometric views isometric drawings until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing